Natalie Nunn apologizes to the city of Detroit and makes a swift and quick getaway in less than 24 hours after claiming that she runs our city. <laughs> Let's talk about it, baby, because this is a big deal. <laughs> they ran that bitch up out of here. They ran that bitch up out of here. They ran that bitch up out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Wednesday. What's up, y'all? My name is Big Mouth, and this is my channel. If you have not been here before, baby, do me a favor, do my Jawbreaker fam a favor, and do Natalie a favor, too. Like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe for me, daddy. Subscribe for me, daddy. Subscribe for me, daddy. Let me see you agree, yo. Yes, because every new subscriber for me is a new uh, subscription to Zeus, I'm assuming, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about it, baby. <clears throat> Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. I'm proud of you. Oh, look, you ain't see me coming. <laughs> I'ma scope the scenery out. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You ain't even see me coming. <laughs> but yeah, so Natalie, I'm proud of you being for real with you. Um, yesterday I reported to you guys that Natalie, you know what I'm saying? She was all over the social medias, you know, saying that she runs Detroit or whatever, and she had made a very disparaging video, you know, when she was drunk and had outside of some restaurant in Detroit. I thought, um, to be for real with you, I thought it was the gay, one of the gay clubs, but it wasn't. Turns out it was one of their bookings that they had at a nightclub. And um, I'm going to just show y'all these videos. <laughs> truth the crowd was not fucking with natalie um they was trying to do they was trying to do the hustle baby and shit like that and natalie was just being real weird on the microphone cursing and yelling and being vulgar on the microphone and that's not really the vibe in detroit you know what i'm saying you gotta have some finesse when you get on the microphone out here baby you gotta when you host out here you gotta have some finesse some swagger about yourself baby you can't just get on the phone and shout out I, I run la i'm the baddest bitch baddie baddie shot the clock all night long we don't we we too cool for that and that's honestly the vibe across midwest so natalie as you go through these states you're gonna see that that's just the vibe out here boo you can't do all that extra shit okay this it's the vibe in the Midwest, for real, for real, is grown and sexy, okay? That's kind of how we get down. Like, all that young, wild shit. I mean, maybe at, like, a college party or something like that. Like, you know, when I was in college and I went to the... We used to host our parties at the clubs and stuff. They... It used to be like, well, no. Yeah, no. No. We don't really do all that crazy shit, okay? Baby, chill it on out. But anyway, so... After, you know, she had did that or whatever, her, her and Chef D was outside of the place making videos and TikToks, you know, going to fuck off and snapping off and, you know, talking about she runs Detroit and stuff like that. Some women from Detroit who uh did not appreciate that. And a whole lot of women. I'm sorry. It was a lot. Okay. Y'all can check the comments on my last video, baby. It was hundreds of them. They was like real upset about that. The, the, the women in Detroit was really upset about that. A few of them threatened to come up there to the skating rink and put put the paws on Miss Natalie Nunn. And um, 
you know, that's what it was up until last night. Okay, so before the event, after, you know, um, the video came out and everything like that, and she saw the responses to what happened on my YouTube, I guess she recanted her statement. Let me get it for y'all real quick, because, you know, I keep a good old receipt, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, but this was really mature of her, Natalie. So Natalie says on her Instagram story, it's been all these years and I still can shake it up. <laughs> I run LA, had the whole world going. But anyways, guys, it was a skit. I was redoing Bad Girls and I said I run Detroit. Usually I don't address anything, but I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm being disrespectful. I was kidding. We were playing around. But look how viral it is, man. I can really get people going, huh? Anyways, love you guys. Uh, love you guys, Detroit. Next stop. <laughs> then her next post says, where should we go next? I'm packed and ready. <laughs> I'm packed and ready until the next city. Betty's Midwest is lit. And then it's just a bunch of videos of her showing, you know, what happened last night at the skating rink and stuff. And um, first things first, Natalie. I'm going to start off by saying the good stuff and then I'm going to go into like stuff I didn't kind of, you know, the, the, the shady stuff and then I'm going to go into the, the ending and uh, wrap it up with something good. So, okay, so listen, baby, the good stuff was that was very adult of you, okay? Although that was not a skit, okay? Since you were drunk and high outside of that restaurant and you, I mean, outside of that club and you was acting the ass in the streets, okay? You was feeling yourself, you was smelling your pussy and you was, you was, you was, you was being a little bit too L.A. on our time. Okay, I would have appreciated you owning that instead of trying to lie saying it was a skit, baby. Because the way everybody around you was acting, they was they was nervous. They was like, uh, excuse me. Like, you know, they were offended. So that's not a skit, sweetheart. There was no skit, there was no planning, nobody talked about that. You just came outside acting the ass and got recorded. Um, but I do appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know now. I'm gonna call it what it was, bitch. Like you was copping, please. Okay, look like you was copping, please. I ain't saying that you was scared. But we know you was. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying from the from the looks of it, it just looked like you was you was trying to remedy the situation because you didn't want to get your ass whooped. Now, Natalie, in the future, that can be avoided if you just don't disrespect people's cities with that I run I run your city shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't and I told you, don't come to Midwest with that energy, baby. We just don't play that over here. Um but that was very grown woman of you to recant your statement. It was very grown woman of you, you know what I'm saying, to shout out Detroit and say that you love Detroit. And then on her story later on, she had um, put up some, you know, like right after that, she started putting up like little thank yous to, I guess, the businesses that she visited while she was out here. She was, you know, talking about them, giving them a little promotion and saying how great they was and stuff like that. You know, really kissing some ass. So um, thank you for that, though, because you, you disrespected us. So thank you. Max, sit down. What are you doing? Max, go sit down. You know I'm working. You know to wait until you hear me say bye. Go sit down. Max, go. My goodness. Nails just a clickety clacking everywhere. Lord. I'm sorry, y'all. He want to go outside and play, and we about to go out in a second. But anyway, look, he didn't. I didn't have shit. I didn't say it too much. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to you, Miss Nunn. So, yeah. I saw that. You know what I'm saying? We definitely saw you copping, please. Now, Natalie, here's the deal, right? I did happen to see that when you was out there skating, a few things about the skate party last night. It wasn't nothing in there but kids. Okay? Everybody in there was under the age of 21. I don't know what was going on up in there, sis. It was just a, a teenage fest up in there. Um, And it was about, they said it was about 200 people that came out. It did look a little scarce up in there. I'm going to be for real with you, sis. It looked like an average Tuesday at the skating rink, so baby. It didn't look like y'all had too many people. Now, y'all gathered all of the people that was in there outside in front of the baddies van for the video when y'all was leaving so they could say bye to you. And, you know, y'all can make it look like it was really, really a Hollywood festivity. Meanwhile, bitch, it was looking like real slim skeleton crew up in the inside. Now, listen. I just want to take notice, uh, 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 let you know, Natalie, that I noticed something. I noticed them two armed security guards that you had walking behind you as you was on your skate, skating around, girl. And they was like on your back like super glue. And I also know where you got that from. Now, if y'all don't know, if y'all didn't see this video, it's a video a lot of going around with her at a skating rink. I don't know if it was a skate party that she hosted or if it was just her out at a skating rink randomly. But Lotto had a security guard jogging behind her. I was wondering, I said, why has Natalie got these two security guards behind her on this flow when they could be standing off to the side or something like that, you know, in case anything happened, girl. But I had 
last thing. I, I see you stole that idea from Lotto. But anyway, um, after all of that posted, Natalie had posted that she, uh, where do y'all think she should go next or whatever? Now, I'm going to be for real. I feel like the next stop I honestly should be either... Chicago or Cleveland. Them the only two spots I think spots I think can really outside of Detroit in the Midwest. It's a lot of spots, okay? Because I saw all y'all comments in the, in, the, in the last video. Y'all was just like, you know, Big Mouth, what you doing? Why you ain't shot out my city? You know, Kansas City, Missouri, all y'all ratchet hoes. What's the other one in Missouri? The one that be killing everybody. Um, St. Louis. You know, it's a lot of people just, oh, well, my city, my city, my city, my city. Calm down, okay? We see y'all. But anyway, um, I think it should be Chicago. That's my personal opinion. Or Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I also do think y'all should stop in St. Louis. Um, I do think y'all should probably go to Columbus, Ohio. Um, where else, girl? If y'all got some more cities y'all think the baddies should visit, drop them down in the comments. But this was just real, you know, cute that Natalie came back. You know, I got to give you a little bit of razzle-dazzle, bitch. I got to read you a little bit because, you know, you did disrespect my city a little bit. But, uh, you know, I do I do appreciate you being a grown woman about your shit and coming back and clearing that up. I want to see more of that from you. Just being for real with you, sis. I want to see more of that from you. More grown woman activities like that, you know, um, and stuff like that. And they did, Zeus, I'm, I'm going to say this, Zeus did pay for everybody to get into the skating rink. So everybody that did come last night did get in for free. So they did show some love back to Detroit after all of the BS. So like I said, you know, I'm going I'm I'm to give you your props. I'm going to give you your props, bitch, okay? I'm going to give you your props, okay? That was classy of you. That was real classy of you. Um, but, yes, so as far as the rest of the, the season, I'm going to be for real with y'all. Y'all better make sure because I already know it's raining, okay? The whole last two weeks, and that's maybe why they was here so long, because the whole last two weeks in Detroit, we done had a lot of rain, y'all, and we ain't had a beautiful day like that. So if they wanted to go film, like, down at the Riverwalk or down at Belle Isle or wherever the case was or wherever they wanted to go film at, sis, they they go they had to wait for a nice day to do it all, and since they have we haven't had no nice days, so I'm assuming that's why it took them so long. To, you know, why they was in Detroit for so long? I hope that's the reason. Because other than that, baby, I don't want to see Detroit. I don't want to see Detroit for five and six episodes on baddies. I just don't. It's it's really not that much in the city to see. Um. So yeah, to that. Get y'all ass up out of here. You know. Um. And we need a really really awesome finale. Wherever y'all go for the finale trip, better be tropical and beautiful, bitch. Okay? I'm thinking Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? It just needs to be tropical tropical and beautiful because I know, you know, the Midwest, I I'm telling y'all, okay? It's going to be, what, what was it? Uh, 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 no shade. It's going to be baddies. What was that? The boring season. Baddies East all over again, bitch. It's going to be baddies East all over again. But all right. I'll talk to y'all later, baby. Bye.